at ground zero of the civil rights movement. At the close of Black History Month, in an urban center of worship to talk about new thinking, new engagement, and new politics. Now, mind you, when we say new, we don't mean novel. Matter of fact, chronologically, there is nothing new about this here. It's very much timely. But it's new in the sense of how revival makes things new. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That Saul fell down a persecutor and regained his sight to become an apostle new. That John 8, 11 go forth and sin no more new. That good news new. Yeah. You see, there is an urgency among young urban Christians. A deep aspiration for a more meaningful role in the cultural and political arena. Today, it is no longer acceptable to be silent bystanders or co-signers to someone else's agenda. Whether it's seeing our brothers and sisters die unjust and unacknowledged death, or seeing the urban family die in a culture that rewards and legislates relativism and adult self-seeking at all costs, there is without question, my people, a call, a commission to disrupt this culture and its politics, to find discipleship and a voice in the larger public discourse because the human consequences are all too real. You know seven-year-old Jojo in English Avenue? He goes to school hungry, which is part of the reason why he can't read. And with every day, he grows more and more discouraged. You see, his teachers say he has a behavior disorder, but really, he's just singing those get-out-of-the-ghetto blues. Can you hear him? Are we too conservative to advocate to keep him out of the prison pipeline? And his sister who is yet to be named because she's still developing in her mother's womb, probably won't even make it as far as him. Because our modern brand of compassion just advised her mother that the best answer, the only answer, was to abort. Are we too progressive to acknowledge baby girl's life? But see, there's a restlessness here. A civic urge among us that is determined to save Jojo and baby girl. And to wrap its arms around her, their mother and let her know that she will be loved, regardless of what decision she makes. But Jeremiah 1.5 says that he already knows baby girl, so there really is only one choice. 